Thank you for tuning in for another episode of the Paul and Nothing Experience. In this episode, we delete the EGR and install my new exhaust. Please like and subscribe. So I'm just removing the original exhaust or standard exhaust off the car. Um, I'm just having a bit of trouble getting this EGR exhaust line here loose. So what I had to do was it was just threading, so I used a little shim underneath. You can hardly see it down there. Let's see if I can get a better angle on that. Got a tiny little shim there between my old spinner and nut. I actually got it to move. Stoked. So once I've got that undone, exhaust down, I can remove that easy airline. While installing the new exhaust, I found a broken stud. So a quick bolt extraction and we're back on track. Well be damned. Sexy working boys. Part of this kit. Perfectly. Could call that a tactic. I'm really happy with that result. A bit of a soak with some brake cleaner. Just I'm very lucky I switched to a smaller drill bit block. Uh, just making some plates up to delete the EGR and emissions for circulation. So we've made these two blanking plates out of this 3mm steel. Uh, I'm just going to give them a coat of paint. One's already got a steel gasket, the other one I'm going to make a paper gasket for. Um, I'll whack these on just a few vacuum lines to reroute and that's the EGR delete. Um, I had to do this because the exhaust headers don't actually have the tube that supplies to this, so it wouldn't be practical anyway, and it's a race car, not a road car, so send it. So there were two lines for the EGR delete that I needed to reroute. Uh, one of them was this hose here that comes off the intake tube, which is now T-pieced to uh, some sort of solenoid that's down the bottom there. There's a second one that comes up um, the one here, which is the vacuum, I believe, is routed back into the internal, the one on the inside of the throttle body. And then there's another one down here, which is T-pieced, which is the other one out of that solenoid that goes to, I believe, the charcoal canister. And, and then I've got the blanking plate in there, if you can see that guy there. And the other blanking plate is just up and over there. So that's an EGR delete in a nutshell. Uh, to get that done, I used one straight through, one elbow, 
and about 10 inches of extra hose. Now this hose is a little bit loose. Uh, it's tight on one side, loose on the other. So I may actually um, add a little clamp to that. So these are the parts that were removed when I deleted the EGR. Um, this is referred to as a gallery. Um, there's a link that I'll put in the description that was really helpful for deleting this stuff. My case was a little bit different because the advice was based on leaving this in. So it was T-pieced to this, which I didn't have. So that confused me a little bit, but uh, I worked that out. So that's what uh, was removed. Now this normally taps into your exhaust, brings the emissions in, which goes here through the intake. This here opens and closes, whether it actually, this here so it makes it open and close and lets it know whether or not it should be actually letting any of those gases into your intake. So, don't need this in a race car. I'm just gonna put the evaporator or whatever this thing is back on the front here and then uh, pretty much ready to get started on the water pump, which is in there, somewhere.